Hello students. Now let us do animal tissue. You know all the organisms. They are formed from one cell. That same cell goes on multiplying. So a group of cell having similar structure and specific function that forms tissue. Now group of tissues, they form organ. Organ forms organ system. An organ system forms an organism. So let us see which are the animal tissues which are present in us, in animals. Epithelial tissue for protection. You can see our skin is epithelial tissue which protects our body. Now, this epithelial tissue is not only on this upper surface but also the, it covers the internal lining. It covers the organs for protection. Now, which are the different types of epithelial cells? Squamous epithelial cells, they are present on the skin, the upper part, you can see they are hexagonal, they are flattened, very thin in structure, they are present on our skin. And whenever you wash, wash your body, that those dead cells, they come out and new cells go on forming. Then the columnar cells. They are present in the digestive system. They modify for secretion. They secrete enzyme various chemicals for which helps in digestion. Columnar cells. They are elongated in structure. They have nucleus and they are elongated in structure. Some columnar cells, they develop cilia. Cilia are fine, hair-like structure, hair-like structure which creates a wave. So it is present in the windpipe. When the air enters, it has to be pushed towards the lungs. So this function is performed by the cilia which is present on the ciliated cells. Ciliated epithelial cells. Cuboidal cells are cube, cubical, cube-like structure. They are present in the kidney which helps in absorption. So absorption takes place by this with the help of this cuboidal cells which are cube in cubical. They are cubical in structure. So this is epithelial tissue. Now the connective tissue, by name itself you can understand it connects. So which are the tissues which connect? Now from head to toe you have bones. You have bones, heart structure. And here you can see this, here you can uh, may flex it because it has got cartilage. Nose you can move because uh, it has got cartilage. In between also there is a cartilage. So what is the structure of the cartilage? It is. It has got a matrix. Matrix is a substance, base substance. In between there are spaces which are known as lacuna. Now this lacuna it consists of cells in between. Space, like in a space matrix, then there are space in the space, there are cartilaginous cell. So, this is the structure of cartilage. Now, bone, the matrix is hardened with the help of calcium and phosphorus. So, it, the matrix is hard and matrix is arranged in the concentric circles. Now, this circles, uh, there are space in between, there is space in the center also. So, this is Harvestian canal which connects the cells and in the matrix are some space in between lacuna. In the lacuna, the cells are present. 
So here the matrix is hardened with calcium phosphorus that is why it is strong it is rigid so this is about the connective tissue form then there are fibrous connecting tissue like areolar tissue now we have a body cavity and the organs are attached to the body uh, body wall with the help of areolar tissue that is the fibrous tissue which helps the organ to get attached to the body wall so that is areolar tissue then there is adipose tissue the fat cells which has fat globules uh, in which are embedded in our epithelial cells those are adipose tissues which have fat globules now other fibrous tissues when it connects bone to bone it is known as ligament when it connects from muscle to the bone it is known as tendon so these are the four types of fibrous tissue then the liquid connective tissue liquid connective tissue is the blood in the blood there is plasma present which is the fluid part which carries various nutrients now blood consists of red blood corpuscles platelets white blood corpuscles red blood corpuscles carries the oxygen from lungs to different parts of the body platelets if there is a cut then the blood oozes out after some time it it stop because the uh, cut is covered by blood platelets so it helps in coagulation of blood white blood corpuscles are the soldiers of our body they fight the organism which enters our body and causes infection so this is about the blood then the straw color liquid which carries oxygen to cranks and crevices of our body is limb limb so you have to know this much about the blood now next tissue is the muscle tissue muscle pill skin you can see that there is muscle present muscles present now what type of muscles are present in our body the smooth one the unstrained one they are not under our control they are present in various system like digestive system they are not under our control we cannot stop them so here uh, they are, do not have striation so they are known as unstrained muscles or smooth they are smooth muscles then the other striated muscles they have striation on it nucleus present and they are present in our arm legs whichever muscles is other under our control this striated muscles is present so this is voluntary we control voluntary muscles striated muscles involuntary muscles they are smooth muscles they are not under our control then a special type of muscle is present in the heart cardiac anything to do with heart is cardiac cardiac so this muscles they have striation and they are branched they are branched they are very strong they work throughout our life without getting tired they just go on pumping blood to different parts of the body so this is cardiac now next is the nervous tissue which the brain is made up of you think you uh, uh, use your brain and that brain gives the nerve throughout the body so you are able to move your hand legs because there is nerve network present throughout the body so let us see what is the structure of a, um, a nervous cell now it consists of nucleus cytoplasm is present special type of cytoplasm is present then are, there are thread like structure which are known as dendrites now uh, this dendrite one dendrite is longer than the rest and that is known as the axon so this part is known as cyton and the bigger one is known as axon 
there is a sheath there is a covering which is present on the stent right that is uh, sheath medullary sheath which is present and in between uh, there is uh, less of it that is known as node of ranvier and it connects to the motor this motor gives out motor nerves which connects to the muscles so the muscles are under our control so this is the structure of the nerve cells here you can see another diagram which has got bundle of this axon uh, in the muscles and uh, you can see this bundle then they are uh, Join together with the help of connective tissue. There are blood vessels present to provide nutrition. So it forms a bundle here for the proper functioning of the muscles. Bye bye.